Thank you. Uh, so let's talk about this. As uh, people get ready to head back to school, lots of different issues going on. Vaccinations, everybody can't get vaccinated because of age. Masks, some not wearing masks. Uh, so what can parents do? What can people do who are sending their kids back to school? What can they do at this point to keep their kids as safe in the classroom? Well, first and foremost, everyone in the family who can get vaccinated should. That means the adults, the parents should get vaccinated. Children 12 and above should be vaccinated. That's siblings and certainly the child themselves who's going back to school. If they are 12 and above, they should be vaccinated. If the child is less than 12, um, of course, we know they cannot be vaccinated at this point. Uh, having the rest of the family vaccinated is going to help them. So that's one thing that the family must do, should do. Um, but of course, the other things include making sure that your child has an appropriate mask, that is wearing their mask, that you teach them proper hand hygiene and you encourage that. It's still not a bad idea to throw the hand sanitizer in the bag and things of that nature. Uh, but those are some things that, that families can do to, to help their child who's going back to school. All right, so we're talking about doing all those different things and, and masking is going to be important as well. So in addition to masking, what else can you do when you're walking right, down, up so and down, when the kids are walking up and down the hallways? Because, you know, some kids, you know, you can put the mask on, some will take it off, some won't wear it at all. So you know how that goes with children. Right. So, well, this is where conversations need to happen in the home um, and sort of talking to your child about the importance of keeping the mask on, wearing the mask, um, not taking it off, not wrapping it around their necks or wearing it as headbands, things like that. Um, but this is where a lot of education sort of home uh, discussions can really play a role. Um, of course, we want to make sure that kids are being safe and they need to also follow the guidelines of the school. Hopefully schools are putting together and putting in place multi-layered approaches to keep kids safe that may include social distancing, um, you know, sort of cohorted classrooms, um, extra ventilation and things like that, the kids really need to abide by that and the, the school rules. So I think that, you know, really establishing this importance at home is going to help the child for when they go to school and hopefully see these measures in place. They will hopefully then obviously understand them, but continue to comply with them, which is what we need for COVID prevention. All right, doctor, uh, we're also talking about sports, you know, and sports and, and other team activities. It could be cheerleading. It could be anything uh, like that. In some counties, for example, in Montgomery County, you have to wear a mask when you're participating in these sports. You know, kids have a hard time. Adults have a hard time wearing masks when they're participating in sports. Uh, how do you handle a situation like this? Because it is contact. We're talking about contact and being around somebody all the time. It's good. good thing that you are able to play. But now you got to wear this mask and then the mask might come off. So what, what do you what do you suggest here? So once again, I do think this is about framing and you're right, you know, look, nobody, nobody wants to wear a mask, right? right? <laughs> None of us want to wear, wear a mask. So we can certainly establish that. And certainly wearing masks while doing certain activities can be more uncomfortable than say you're just being at rest. That is something we have to acknowledge. However, the other side to this is what we really have to stress and sort of emphasize with our young people. But this really, this, this sort of inconvenience and maybe uncomfortableness um, really is about the greater good and about the sort of literal pandemic that we are in right now. And, and what's required to keep us safe. You know, again, it may not be our first choice, mm -hmm. but I think it's understand. Uh, it's important for young people to understand the importance of collectively being involved and doing our part to keep ourselves and other people safe. I'm not saying, I'm not promising that it's going to be a, a perfect sell, but the idea is that really is what we're in. And of course, it's what we have to do. So talking to your child about, okay, yes, we understand these are the barriers. Sometimes it might be uncomfortable, et cetera, et cetera. Here are some extra masks. You can change out your mask. If one gets wet, et cetera, you know, different options. Finding the most comfortable mask that has at least two layers, et cetera. So there are things we can do within the mask to make it as comfortable as possible. But then also talking to your child about the fact that literally by wearing their mask, they're really helping collectively to fight this pandemic that we are in. Real quick, uh, in the last uh, 15 seconds here, cloth mask versus the real, uh, I know the N95 masks are great. Um, but the cloth masks, are they good at all? I mean, I know they're better than nothing, but really, are they, are they, should they even bother with the cloth masks? Should you just go all N95 and up? Well, so this is the thing. Most people are wearing cloth masks. So I'm not, I'm not going to throw the okay. cloth mask out with the bath, bath water, by the way. And you are right that N95s are sort of the gold standard. If you have that, that's great, or a KN95. But I wear cloth masks every single day when I'm out and about.
you want to make sure that you have at least two layers. The World Health Organization mm -hmm. recommends three layers. Uh, a good quality cloth mask that sort of um, that is nice and, and at least thick enough material where you can't see light through. That is going to do a lot. Okay. So um, so it's what's important is yes, wear a mask, wear one that's comfortable for you, and we do have a number of, of options that are, are reasonable. Okay. All right, doctor. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Very helpful information. I know we spent a lot of time on masks, but they got to mask up when they go back to school. So because everybody's not, obviously everybody's not vaccinated. So thank you for your time this morning. Appreciate it. There's the information if you want to get in touch with our good friend, Dr. Jen Cobb, right there on the screen. Thank you. Always helpful. Thanks, Wiz. Coming up, it is Fox 5's very